Hey, what's up guys? Today we are at the Merriman Wynn House for the very first wedding show for Bun DJ Company of 2021. If you guys stick around through this video, I'm going to give you my tips for getting the most out of doing a wedding show. Stick around. <music> So I just arrived. We got our stuff set up here in the carriage house. Look who I found. Randy B's in the building with the Bun Gear Command Center, all new, all blacked out with the EV Evolve 50s. That's right. That's right. <laughs> So what's up guys, my name is Joe Bunn and I am the owner of Bunn DJ Company right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm also the founder of the DJ's Vault, which is a community of thousands of mobile DJs just like yourself. So if you wanna learn more about the mobile DJ business or the DJ business in general, you're in the right place. We post brand new content every single Thursday at three Eastern Standard Time, so be here. <music> I want to talk about is what are you going to bring what's going to be in your booth for this show and for us we've done different types of show when we do the big shows out at the fairgrounds we used to bring these massive 10 by 20 setups and go completely all out now the shows that we do are very much like the one that I'm showing you here today and these are the more small boutique style shows especially in the age of COVID where they're only letting 12 couples an hour go through here and so for this we simply brought our basic setup that we would bring to a wedding. We've got the Bun Gear Command Center, a couple of EV Evolve 50s, our business card, we're playing music at a low volume, and then we're also putting another computer up with our website pulled up to DJ Event Planner so people can see a little bit about our planning process. So always think about what you're going to take when you're planning this out. You'll also notice that we didn't bring any signage to this particular show. We might bring a couple of pop-up banners normally, but for this particular instance, the planner just wanted everything pretty much one neutral color, so they did the branding and the signage for the show with our name on it. So there are a couple of things that I would say are mandatory to bring to a wedding show. Number one, seems like common sense, but please, please, please bring a big old stack of business cards. You've got to have business cards with you. The other thing is most people are gonna ask you about your pricing. Now, we're very forthright and share our pricing right out of the gate. So in the instance of a wedding show, we usually get a four by six postcard printed somewhere super cheap. And we put all of our pricing, the packages on one side, a la carte on the other side, and also hand those out. Those are the only two things we really hand out. Now, you can also do some sort of little giveaway, pins, koozies, stress balls, whatever if you'd like to as well, just so that people have something that's sitting on their desk with your company name on it as well. But those are two or three things that you must bring to any wedding show. Make sure you have some of those. Okay, so what can you expect? Say you've never done a wedding show before. It's super interesting, you know, you've got the doors opening and then people usually go left or most people go right since they're right-handed. It's actually a fact, I think. Maybe I made that up. But anyway, don't panic if people immediately don't run over to your booth, especially if you're doing one of these really big shows say at a fairgrounds or a convention center. They are eventually going to make it there. And then how you approach them is going to determine how things are gonna go. In other words, I've seen some really aggressive tactics, you know, people jumping out in the aisles, people dancing in their booth, people turning up their music too loud. We're more chill, more laid back. If people are looking for a DJ, they're going to come see you. Play it cool, let them come to you, make time to talk to them, get the information in their hands, and then follow up with them. I'm gonna give you guys a bonus tip at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around. Make sure that you take someone with you that is going to be a good salesperson, a good ambassador for your brand. As much as you wanna stay in the booth the whole time, you can't do that because why? You need to be out going around and networking with all of these people that are here today. And I'm not talking necessarily about the future brides and grooms. I'm literally talking about the other vendors that are at this show. You've seen all the B-roll during this video of all the other people are here. 
all those people are potential sources of business. So take someone with you or two people with you that can represent your company, stay in the booth all day while you go out and do your networking. Okay guys, bonus tip time. Here's the bonus tip. If you really want to follow up with people and want to collect their names easily, do this. Go to QR code generator. Just Google that right now. They're super easy, super cheap. Generate yourself a QR code and then all you do is you take that QR code, you print it out on a piece of paper, stick it on the front of your DJ booth. People walk up, you say, hey, scan this QR code code it'll enter you for a chance to win a bun dj company yeti coffee mug or something like that boom you've instantly captured their data and now you've got a chance to follow up with them and book that show guys as much as these shows might take up a good portion of your saturday or sunday sometimes like today is think about it is it worth your time for example we play at this venue almost every single weekend of course i'm going to be here so think about the roi and then book yourself some wedding shows as soon as they start happening again i promise you they will lead to business if you follow these tips here today that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it as a thanks for getting to the end check out these email templates below these are what i use to follow up with my client and make sure that i book that show every time